So I joined a couple of Facebook groups um, online and I love them. Y'all talk about some real stuff, things that we all want to know the answers to and how anybody else would solve the problem or address the issue. So I appreciate the Facebook sites. I also got an idea to make a video because somebody had asked how or what drills are there that anybody else is using that can encourage eight, nine, and 10 year olds to make three contacts. It's tricky because they're eight. They want to play volleyball, they can't even keep the ball going. So how do you encourage them to make three contacts when three contacts isn't really a thing? Here were some drills that I did um, with the youth academy that I run, and here's what came out of it I thought I would share. Now the way that I run the drills may not be the same as how I would run it with the next group that I run the same drill with. So uh, if you're using one of these drills, feel free to modify it to fit your people. First drill is just a simple rolling drill. That's it, go, go, go. Nice spot, nice defense. Good defense over there. Oh, that's out. You guys went. Then I progress it into a bouncing drill. Catch that. Run up to the net, kill it. That's it. Oh, good night, nice. Oh, you're off. Switch, rotate, new three. Run up to the net. There you go, good throw. Run up! Yeah! Woo! Good defense! Oh, nice spot! Oh, she dropped it! She dropped it! You're out! There we go! You guys can dive and save it. You can add a rule that if they hold on to it too long, they're out. Go! Who's got the short? Good. There you go. Who's got short? Oh, got him! Switch. Oh, that's two. Two bounces, you guys are off, new three. Now the bouncing drill can be with three people against three people, um, or in the next video clip, um, I've added a fourth person and she is at the net and she is a setter uh, with three in the backcourt that are passers and attackers. One of the things that I like most about this particular version of the drill, watch them move. I had to kind of encourage what the strategy was gonna be and help them out with some pointers, uh, but they ended up doing it. And these are all parts of the game. Strategy, competitiveness, movement, defense, and offense. Good job. Good, Ava. Good, get rid of it. Go, 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 Avery. Oh, got her. Good, switch out. Oh, switch out. There we go. Yep, you're out. There's no points, but you're out. Okay, ready? Get it, get it, get it. That's it. Get rid of it. Hot potato. Set. Go, Soph. 
Good, that's it, Hallie. Nice job. Bounce it. Get rid of it, Hallie. Set, Sienna. Good. Come on, Emily. Good, go, go, go. Good, Soph, come on. Get it, Soph. Watch that angle. Oh, Soph killed. Ah! It got blocked. Go, go, go. Keep going. Kill it. Kill it. She blocked it again almost. Good, bounce it. Get rid of it. Go, Emily. Go. Oh, Soph, nice try, buddy. Ava. Oh, she dropped it. Switch. Oh, switch out. Back in, Ava. Guys got to get ready. Go, go, go. Get rid of it. Good, Ava. Oh, my goodness. That was brutal. One more point wins. One more point wins. One point wins. Go, Vivian. Good catch, Vivian. Go. Four to two, game point for this side. Let's go, hostile defense. Go, 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 get rid of it. Hurry. Kill it. Go, go, go. That's it, Emily. Good hustle. Here we go. Coming to you, Avery. Oh, got it, Bella. Nice work. Good job, buddy. Nice save, Caroline. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Luce. Yeah, Emily got it. Nice job. Good, go, go, Ava. Hurry, Ava. Oh, tricky. We have a winner, folks. Winners. The final progression to this drill would be to initiate it over the net, uh, like a free ball or a bowling ball toss, uh, to one of the players on one side, and they basically hot potato. So catch it, throw it to the setter. Setter puts their hands up, catches it, releases it to the hitter. Hitter can then catch it and throw it over, um, or she can try to hit it over where the process would start again. They catch it, hot potato to the setter, setter sets it to the hitter, um, and they just basically play hot potato until they can increase the speed of their hot potato. I like to do that drill with three or four kids on the court because they get more contact. Sometimes it can be faster, uh, but you can totally put six people on the court and make it work. Thank you for watching these videos and hopefully it can kickstart some ideas and how you can run it for your kids. Please subscribe and like and comment on these videos. I'd love to know how you guys run it um, and hopefully we'll see you next time.